Today we're looking at Monster Smash from Hooligan Vapes. Um, it is a nice e-liquid. I think that uh, I might be blurred by the Muppets blood that I reviewed last week. It is very good, so hopefully I can do this e-liquid justice. I'm vaping a 6 milligram nicotine strength. Um, I got 6 milligrams so I could drip it. So, But I've got it in the tank set up as well. Let's talk a little bit about it. So if you go on the website and check out the description, it's going to say, release the inner green monster in this plethora of fruits. Pineapple and many fruits blend together for a creamy goodness. Can you handle the green monster? Well, I can. This guy can. And I'm up for the challenge. Okay. I got this from canvape.com. It's uh, $15.50 for a 30 milliliter bottle. So it's relatively inexpensive it's uh the price point is good and hooligan vape seems to make very complex e-liquids that have a lot going on in them so i really dig that shout out to the guys at hooligan vapes very nice e-liquids for the price point okay i've vaped a lot of stuff that doesn't come close to this e-liquid it's a nice vape but uh would it be my all-day vape Probably not, no. But I could mix this into the rotation maybe once a week when I'm sitting on the couch watching a movie, something like that, throw in some Monster Smash. I think it was supposed to be called Hulk Smash originally, but there was some copyright infringement stuff. I would call it Hulk Blood, because the blood is what curdles and boils in that mean man, okay? So anyway... Let's talk a little bit about flavor, vapor, throat hit, and all that jazz, okay? So, for flavor, it's good. It's got a good flavor, but I can only pick out pineapple, really. I might taste a little bit of strawberry, like on the outside of a strawberry, the little seeds that are in it. A little kind of tartness of the strawberry seeds I get a hint of that okay I also get a little hint of creamy banana I'm feeling I might be wrong yeah there is like a little creamy goodness I think it's banana pineapple strawberry is what I'm getting hey Rocky it's good, it's good, but it's kind of like a, a carton of juice when you take it out of the fridge, pour it into a glass, and you can kind of just taste orange in it, okay? And then you have to look at the carton and go, oh, there's, you know, pineapple, and there is pomegranate, and there's grape, and this, that, and the other, and then you, you know that it's there so you can taste it. I don't know what's in it, so I'm having a hard time distinguishing what the flavor is on this. It's like, a, it's like a fruit punch, like a tropical fruit punch going on here. So, <laughs> anyway, Rocky Cat is freaking out. Um, it's got a good flavor. I'll give it a 7 out of 10, maybe even an 8 out of 10. It's very solid. Now, for throat hit, we'll go to that next. It's... It's pretty mild. Like, I'm vaping a 6 milligram nicotine, so I know that it's not going to be super punchy. It's uh, 60 PG, 40 VG. I feel like it should have more throat hit to it. It should give you a little more of a tickle in the back there, but I'm not getting it. Um, so, for th I, I don't mind that, though. Personally, I drip a lot, so that's a bonus. But if you're quitting smoking... You might want to have that little throat hit just to keep you satisfied, okay? Keep that in mind. So for throat hit, I'll probably give it a four. No, I'll give it a five, okay? So what do we got? An eight and a five? All right. Vapor production. Like most e-liquids out today in our day and age, vapor production is always there, okay? Um, man, I say um a lot. That bugs me. Vapor. It's all right. It's all right. Um, 
it's not 100% BGG, so it's not chucking huge, dense clouds, but it's nice. It's, it's all right to look at. So we'll give that a six, okay? Now, if we do the math, I'm not going to go to the math. I'm going to give it an overall score of how I feel about it, okay? I would give this a 7. I'd give it a 7. It's it's not awesome, awesome, but it's it's good. It's good. And I think I'm being blurred by the Muppet's blood a little bit because I really, really like that e-liquid. So a 7 is decent. It's better than a lot of vapes out there. Check it out. You might just fall in love, okay? I'm sure it's someone's all-day vape right now. So, uh, man, I was going to say Muppet's Blood. Monster Smash, Hooligan Vapes. I got it at Can Vape for $15.50 for a 30 milliliter bottle. Pretty good price point. Can't go wrong. It's, it's, it's affordable and it's good. For the price point, it's very good e-liquid. The guys at Hooligan Vapes have done a good job. Um, I might be getting blurred by the Muppet's blood, but who knows? Maybe if I try Voodoo Cola, that might, you know, make Muppet's blood seem like ass to me, you know? So my tastes are ever-changing, so is vaping. So keep on vaping, all that good stuff. Like I say, butt out, vape up, and breathe easy. Know your limits and vape within it. And have a stellar day. It's Maestro Vapes, my friends. I think I'll fade you all out to a vape, okay?